we've just seen, seen the need just to increase the performance even more and get that higher metal removal rate. Uh, we just didn't feel that some of our standard tools were just you know, pushing the envelope in that. So, um, yeah, look, we, we, we've developed it and, and it, it's working well and we're happy with it and we're glad to release that now today. So Chris, we're here in front of your grob. We've got a nice little demo here using some of your newest cutting tools. Yes. Tell us about them, please. Let's start with the ripper. Yeah, so uh, this is a new UK made tool. Um, we've done this for our 50th anniversary. We thought it'd be good to release our own UK made tool today. So uh, this is our uh, GA50 range, um, going after the Gurring anniversary, 50th anniversary. Um, it's based on our Skyliner tool. Uh, we've seen the need for uh, like a standard length version uh, and an increased metal removal rate and increased performance. So we've developed this here on our grub. Um, uh, it's been quite successful. It has been out to a few customers now and they are, they are being uh, sold and stocked in the UK now. So I guess we're using the, the GA50 when they've got Skyline, it tends to be longer reach, deep pockets possibly. Yeah, Whereas yeah, this exactly. is a more uh, general purpose alley tool, I guess. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's just uh, a, a standard length really for hogging out material. Um, and, yeah, when, and when we look at the tool itself, obviously sub grain carbide, variable helix, indexed helix. Yeah, so a variable helix, um, but also on equal flute spacing. Uh, the thing with variable helix is you only get the benefit if you're using the full flute length. So if you're slotting one times D, uh, that on equal flute spacing helps a lot. Yeah, makes makes sense. If we move across to some of these other tools as well. Yeah, so uh, part of the family is then the finisher. Uh, usually in the long series, but we've done a standard uh, uh, standard length um, finisher. Uh, I can ramp re in a really tight angle corners and still lay a, a good finish. No vibration marks or anything like that, yeah. And when we look at the Goering range, it's very, like you've got a vast amount of aluminium tools already, so so why are we adding more? Yeah, yeah, good good question, good question. Uh, we just see, seen the need just to increase the performance even more and get that higher metal removal rate. Uh, we just didn't feel that some of our standard tools were just, you know, pushing the envelope in that. So, um, yeah, look, we, we, we've developed it and, and it, it's working well and we're happy with it and we're glad to release that now today. And something slightly different on the end. I know this one's not quite in the marketplace, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, uh, this is something that's in development at the minute, so I can't tell you a, big too, a lot about it, but you, you will be aware of the, the diver range. So this is basically a PCD diver uh, for aluminium. So again, it'll do the same applications. You can drill, ramp in at really steep angles. Um, we hope to see that uh, released next year. So, If it's as successful as the other diver range, it's going to be a huge hit. Yeah, yeah, hopefully so, yeah. I would like to think so. Mm -hmm. And obviously we've got this wonderful facility here in Birmingham. You've got the grinders here on site. You can coat tools on site. You've got the grob and other uh, CNC machine tools. It's a, it's a great proving ground for the it, future of cutting tools. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, and, and that's what happened with these tools here. We, you know, we had a few variations. We, we could take it straight off the grinder, straight onto the grub machine, test it out, see what one works better, back onto the grinder if need be. You know, um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's been a great facility to do these things, you know. All right, cheers, Chris. I look forward to seeing more of these in the field. Yeah, perfect. Thank you.